Stanchart CEO Bill Winters says that Singapore and Hong Kong are not in competition as the territories serve as gateways to different regions. He also notes how these two markets, along with the UAE, have grown into key hubs. And here's more in this exclusive interview with CNA's Elizabeth Neo. Is Singapore a bright spot for the business uh, when we mm. look at Asia? I mean, it has a big, uh, Central has a big Asia exposure. Uh, where are some other bright spots? And, and has Singapore surpassed Hong Kong? Thankfully, it's not a competition. So uh, yes, Singapore and Hong Kong have very distinct roles. Uh, and I think both are extremely well positioned. So Hong Kong is, is very well established now as the gateway to China and as the Chinese offshore center. Um, that's been promoted by the Chinese, and of course it's a position that, that Hong Kong has, has always coveted. Uh, it's very hard for any other location to, to break into that relationship, but I don't think Singapore can become the gateway to China. Singapore can have an extremely important relationship with China, uh, but not the way Hong Kong does, uh, because Hong Kong is, is obviously is part of China. Uh, by contrast, Singapore is absolutely the financial hub for, uh, certainly for ASEAN, and I think it extends substantially into South Asia as well. And given the, the, the I call it the, the economic migration from China into ASEAN, uh, China plus one, et cetera, et cetera, uh, the, the growth in, in ASEAN is extremely strong, and the growth of ASEAN as is, is trading companies, trading nations, is extraordinarily strong, and that's supported very substantially by the financial center in Singapore. So I think Singapore is in a fabulous position uh, as in, at the receiving end of, of, of these big growth drivers. Um, interestingly for us, our third biggest sort of hub market is the UAE, Dubai, and Abu Dhabi. And it, didn't, wasn't, it wasn't always that way. I mean, in fact, 10 years ago, Hong Kong was much bigger than Singapore, and Singapore was much bigger than, than the UAE at Standard Charter. Uh, they've converged a lot. And uh, we scratch our heads and say, why is that? And I think the reason is we're, we are a connector bank. We, we, we connect markets, we connect companies, we connect money with you know, savers, with, with users, etc. And those three city-states are connector hubs. They're financial hubs with very, serving very different markets. But the two hubs, of Singapore and Hong Kong, have been wrought with rumours of further job displacement at the bank amid Stanchart's efforts to cut $1.5 billion of costs over three years. According to Bloomberg, the bank trimmed roles in middle office functions, including human resources and digital transformation in Asia. Well, can I just ask you point blank, are more job cuts coming? I mean, you say you're investing a lot in technology, yeah. even in cybersecurity space. Does that mean that you know, roles will definitely have to evolve? Yeah, for sure. And uh, like I, I've been in the banking business now for 40 years. And uh, in, in that time, there have been it's constant evolution of the nature of business. And now when I started in banking, banks made loans and they and they made payments right that, that was what we did we took deposits made payments made loans that was it. Um, of course that's evolved into an extremely complex business uh, with with enormous elements of, of technology interface with clients technology interface internally vastly more regulation so it's, it's just it's a completely different and, and every year it's a it's a very different business people are displaced during change new jobs are created during change so uh, our headcount at Santa Charter is more or less the same as the headcount when I arrived uh, but we've had voluntary attrition of between 9 and 11% per year and performance-related attrition, i.e. people that, that we let go because they, they were unwilling or unable to do their job, of 1% or 2% per year. And, and then we've had jobs uh, that have been lost of probably 3 or 4% per year every year. Mr. Winters said some jobs at Standard Chartered, especially in more manual areas like technology and operations, will go away as the Asia-focused bank continues to cut costs and automate its processes. But he assures the lender will be thoughtful about it. He also said that affected employees will be given the option to take up other roles within Standard Chart and that its headcount in Singapore has been stable. The whole transformation program that we're going through, including the rear organization that I've announced, it's not about cost cutting. It's not about job cutting at all. Uh, we will take expenses out, but it's going to be by simplifying our business, by digitizing everything that we do, and by automating everything that we do. People will absolutely be displaced, but we're being quite thoughtful about it and, uh, and doing everything that we can to, to retrain, reskill along the way.